Hey guys, Sean B here and today I want to talk about weapons and artifacts in Genshin Impact. I'll try my best to break it down to you guys so you find it helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below what question you might have about Genshin Impact. And let's dive right into it. For every character, you will have weapons and artifacts. Weapon will have base attack and something else down there. It's like the weapon substat. So for this bow, it has energy recharge. For slingshot, it has crit rate. Or for the book, it has HP percent. And each weapon will have a special effect as well. And the effect gets stronger every refinement level you have. Let's say this book has refinement rank 5 and the effect is pretty pretty good. But for a purple weapon, you don't really have dupes for the weapon yet. So most purple or legendary weapon will have refinement rank 1. Unless you pay to win, you can have everything you want. But for the majority of the player, I recommend using a 3 star blue weapon. Because when you refine the weapon to rank 5, the effect is pretty pretty good and the material to ascend them is pretty cheap as well you can refine them very very easily with duplicate blue three star weapon for this particular book for barbara when you switch her out the next damage you use will have attack buff and barbara is there to drop some water and enemy make them wet a little bit and then you go in with your big damage with fish or whatever you're using Alright, so that was weapon. Pretty simple, but artifact is going to be much more complicated. So this is going to be very information heavy. Sit back, get your notebook out and start taking note. There are five slots for your artifact. We have the flower, the feather, the hourglass, the goblet or the cup. And you have the headpiece. So you have here hat or circlet or mask So headpiece. It goes from one star to five star. The most common one you're probably going to see in the first group of playing the game will be the blue three star artifacts. The rarity system will determine the maximum upgrade level of the artifact. So you go from 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. The one star artifact will get zero substat. The green one will get zero to one substat. The blue one will get from one to two substat. The purple one will get two to three substat. And the uh, Yellow, legendary, orange one would get 3 to 4 substat. Every time you enhance the artifact, every 4 levels you get something special. If you haven't had 4 substat, you will get 1 extra new substat randomly. If you have a legendary one with 4 substat, then every 4 levels you get an extra bonus in a random substat. That means legendary artifact with 4 substat is the best because you have more chance to increase your substat value. And things like blue artifact with let's say one existing substat, every time you get four level on your artifact, you get one new. And for blue artifact, the maximum level will be plus 12, which means you get three chances. Maybe get two new and then one bonus into a random substat. Is blue artifact worth it? Let's wait and see. Next up, what are the stats in each of these artifact category? It's going to be pretty packed with information too. But the first two will be very simple. The flower one will always have flat HP. The feather will always have flat attack. But the hourglass will start having HP percent, defense percent, attack percent. However, you can also have energy recharge and elemental mastery. For what they mean, you can go to the character attribute, click on the details, and click on the question mark icon. In the goblet, you also have attack, defense, and HP percent. You also have elemental mastery. But you start having physical damage bonus and elemental damage bonus. So here I have one with hydro damage bonus. I also have one with attack percent. In the headpiece, you can have crit rate, crit damage, and healing bonus. The secondary stat for all of these will be the same. And there are many different types. You have attack, HP, and defense, percentage, and flat value. Always want to go for the percentage because the higher your level, the more base stat you have, and the more valuable the percentage stats will be. You can also look for elemental mastery, energy recharge, crit rate, and crit damage. The starting crit rate for this game is only 5%. 
it is not easy to get high crit rate build so i don't really recommend going for critical damage and it's not like turn-based rpg where you miss your crit it's over because you do a lot of hits in this game so if you crit it's pretty good but if you don't it's gonna be okay in other turn-based game this is not a turn-based game most people go for like crit rate crit damage bill but here there are many other ways to do damage than just crit rate and crit damage before you build anything at all let's take a look at their skill because their scaling might be different from one another for example let's take a look at barbara her default attack will do hydro damage so if you can have hydro damage bonus in your artifact that'll be pretty pretty good however her healing actually scale with her max hp right here heal all party members and nearby ally characters for a certain amount of hp which scale with barbara max hp and then her ulti is also gonna scale with her max hp however with other character it might be different now let's take a look at noel her shielding skill scale with noel's defense the same goes with noel's ultimate increase attack that scale based on her defense so different character will have different scaling don't just blindly build attack or blindly build hp because you want your artifact to work with your talents there'll be units like amber that have mixed scaling so her normal damage will scale with pirate damage and normal attack percent however the bunny hp will scale with amber max hp so if you want your bunny to stay alive long to attract the enemy then you want your amber to have more hp which i think is kind of lame because amber is an archer which means she'll be staying out of the range of the enemy attack most of the time so having her on high hp is kind of lame i think if the bunny hp can scale with amber attack that'll be really really good as you can see right here i mostly have a mix of purple and blue artifact on my unit and some of them are upgraded some of them are not because you can only upgrade artifact with other artifacts and it takes a while to farm shitty artifacts if you want to get more artifacts you can buy them from the shop in every town you can buy the shitty artifact for cheap and stockpile them up for upgrading costs but right now upgrading blue artifact will give you so much more bonus right here my artifact give me 3000 more hp my fish has 200 extra attack and 3000 more hp from the artifact too so she is actually rocking almost as much hp bonus as my barbara so let's take a look at my fish artifact i have hp here with attack crit rate and for this one i have attack percent as well i look for attack percent on my fish so that she can do more damage and here we have attack percent main i have electro damage bonus for the last one i have hp percent which i want to switch to attack percent but i haven't found any that has good substat just yet this one has attack substat and it is actually a one p set there are some of these around that draw from bosses that can allow you to be affected by hydro for less time so look out for them as well because you cannot have three different two p set in the future i do want to use something like this on my fish with bonus damage in normal attack and charged attack but the cup boosts geo damage bonus so that's why i have it on my main character who is currently a geo unit but this one looks really really good for a damage dealer with crit rate with damage doesn't really matter i don't really care about the defense right there i may get attack percent when i roll it to plus four and then get bonus into critical damage after that which is really really good so let's do a quick comparison between someone that has 277 attack and someone who is having 500 attack okay so amber normal attack would do around 70 70 70 but fish would do 120 180 if you crit i think the big number is the crit number but oh we've seen that 180 pretty often too but yeah 120 to 180 so i'm having double the amount of attack and i'm doing almost double the amount of damage amber charge attack will do around 375 damage meanwhile fish will do boom 500 damage wait that was overcharged 
That was not fair, right? Let me try again. Fish, charge attack would do... Don't miss? I actually missed that. Try again. We'll do 500 damage. So just from upgraded artifact, we get almost double the amount of damage that you should be... Oh my god, I'm scared right now. So that's it for my artifact and weapon beginner guide. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll try my best to answer. I hope you guys are enjoying Genshin Impact as much as I do. This game is so amazing. It's free. And it just absolutely blow my mind how much quality can be in a free game. And just so addictive, man. So addicted. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you do and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video.